If you ever found yourself dragging a mouse across the screen, hunting for the perfect mid-tone pivot, or struggling to finesse your shadows, then you already know how much time color grading can eat up. But what if there was a way to make the process faster, more tactile, and more intuitive without dropping thousands of dollars? Well, today we are going to be talking about this guy right here, which is the micro color panel from Blackmagic Design. What's good everybody? James Jackson here, back again with another video. If you're new here, I do tips, tricks, news, and reviews for the film and video making industry. If this is content that you like, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that like button so you can help the channel grow. Today we're taking a deep look in the Blackmagic Micro Color Panel. This little guy is designed for colorists, editors, and filmmakers who want physical control over their grades without needing to invest in one of those Hollywood tier panels. It's small, sleek, and most importantly, wireless. Now, full disclosure, Blackmagic did send me this color panel for me to review. However, they're not gonna see this video before it released, and they also have no say in what I can say about this micro panel, so everything I'm gonna say is my honest opinion. Now, it's priced at $509, which is kind of wild when you consider what you're getting. Dedicated color wheels, HDR panels across, fine contrast and pivot adjustments, quick controls to create power windows, mask tracking, and two layer functionalities per button using the up and down shift commands that we have right here as you guys can see. That's a pretty serious toolkit for something you can slide right next to your keyboard. The knobs are tactile um, and it's just the right amount of resistance and solid plastic chassis and a responsive buttons that make each click feel like a confirmation of intent, not a guess. Now let's get into the good stuff because there's a lot here that works really, really well. The first thing I noticed was how seamless it was to just sit back and stay on the panel. I wasn't constantly switching between the mouse and keyboard. It keeps your hands in the zone. You're not navigating menus or scrolling drop downs. You're grading and period, that's about it. Uh, one of my absolute favorite features, and this is what sold me, is that I can work in the HDR color mode and use the color wheels, adjust the contrast and pivots all at the same time, and I'm not just jumping between tabs, I'm not hunting for sliders, it's right there, and the physical knobs and the uh, control wheels and, the, and all the little knobs, the buttons, uh, they have real-time feedback, and that tactile control is everything. There's something about being able to slightly nudge the shadows or dial in just the right amount of global contrast while your image is still evolving. That's a game changer. It's like painting with light, but with precision instead of guesswork. Speed-wise, this thing punches way above its asking size. I've cut my grading time down by nearly 30% just from eliminating all that UI navigation. Now, let's talk about stills. Uh, another underrated benefit, I can grab a still, compare it to a previous look, and switch back with zero lag. There's real-time reference comparisons, especially when you're building a lookbook or trying to match uh, continuity between scenes. It's gold. And let's not overlook this guy right here, which is the up-down toggle functionality. With this shift up or shift down, each button that you see on this panel is essentially carries two more layers of commands. It's a smart way to pack in more control without cluttering the panel, and once you get used to it, it's second nature. Let me give you a real world example that really shows this panel strength. I was grading a cardio health awareness campaign, a project with a lot of interviews, B-roll, stock footage videos, and a consistent visual tone we needed across everything. The campaign had a feel of a clean, clear, and professional, so we needed a consistent look that worked across dozens of different lighting setups and camera sources. With the micro panel, I built out a complete note tree in minutes with primary corrections, uh, soft contrast node, a subtle color boost, uh, skin tone isolations, and vignettes with uh, tracking power windows for a face highlight pass, and I wasn't jumping back and forth to the mouse. 
I was doing it from the panel, dialing in each of the nodes adjustments, setting up the mass, tracking adjustments, pivots, and contrast. It was smooth, quick, and precise. Then the magic part. Once I had the look dialed in, I grabbed a steel and then applied that grade across every click. No hiccups, and because I built it with control, there was no guesswork. I barely had to go in and tweak shot shot. It saved me hours of back and forth. That's the kind of workflow power that makes a tool like this more than just a luxury. It becomes a time-saving necessity. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, there are some limitations here. This panel doesn't talk to everything in Resolve. You can't use it with creative tools like the Film Look Creator or Color Slice or more stylized adjustments like vignetting, inhalation. So if you're getting your grading workflow is heavy on those, you're going to be back on your mouse and keyboard for a few steps. Another letdown? no button customizations. It's locked into the default setting, so you can't assign macros or set up alternative functions. That's a bit of a bummer, especially since the hardware is clearly capable. The power window support, while useful, is a bit restrained. You can create and move them, and you can feather it out, and you can soften it out. It doesn't give you a lot of options to where you can choose different forms of power windows that you can adjust and make tweaks on the fly and I really wish it, there was a way that I can go besides the, the standard circular power window where I can maybe do some uh, pinpoints or the squares or diff or gradient ones uh, I wish these options were a little that were accessible here besides me having to go towards the mouse and keyboard. And hey, I get it, it's micro for a reason, but still, I think there's room to grow. So what would I like Blackmagic to take uh, from this to make it from great to elite? Number one, button customizations. Give me the power to assign what I use most, whether it's the scopes, toggles, noise reduction presets, or even switching no types. That's workflow heaven in my eyes. Uh, number two, effect integrations. I love to see support added for something like color slice, the film look creators, and and at the very least the ability to map nodes that apply those effects f uh, from one tap to another. Even expanding the track and mask tools just a little bit, like adding uh, various forms of masking that I can use would be a massive win. Basically give users the options to expand as their workflow evolves. Here's the bottom line. The Blackmagic Micro Color Panel is a fantastic tool for its price. It's fast, it's well built, intuitive, and it removes a ton of the friction from grading process. At $509, it's probably one of the most affordable ways to get a true tactile grading control, and it brings some of that Hollywood magic into your home or studio setup. Is it perfect? No. Is it for every kind of colorist? Also, no. But if you're someone who works in Resolve regularly, wants to build a more hands-on workflow, and values efficiency over unnecessary complexity, this is highly, highly recommended, especially for the price of the gear. I'll leave an affiliate link in the description below if you're interested in checking it out. Using the link helps support this channel at no extra cost to you. I would love to know what your thoughts on the micro color panel and also I'd like to know what are you grading with? Are you using the full size panels? Are you using keyboard shortcuts or just using the mouse and keyboard? I would love to know, leave your comments down below. And as always, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, take care everyone.